Well, 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 Schlatt. Ted, you're a good friend of mine, and I respect you a lot. Really? Yeah. Yeah, surprisingly. Uh, but, oh my God, you look really dumb. What are you talking about? You look really dumb. What are you even wearing? I'm wearing, well, I was going to the gym. I was trying to live a healthy, hip, and trendy lifestyle. <laughs> and I may or may not have pulled my little neck... Bro, you already look dumb. You don't have to sound dumb for oh. the audio listeners, too. Look at, listen to you, man. What is it? You, and I may or may not have <laughs> pulled my little wee little neck. You pulled your neck? Uh, while doing some shoulder presses, I was going like this at the gym, and I was and I was pushing weight. Yeah. And I could feel it, and I felt it. And I was like, oh, okay, my neck's fucked. And I packed up my shit, and I left the gym, and I had to bike back. Remember how I'm been biking to the gym? Oh, yeah, you've been biking. So I like, can't like look around. I'm like bikes moving left and right across the road. I'm I'm aching and stuff. <laughs> and uh, so I ordered these. I door dashed these this from CVS. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the dude's like the dude's like uh, he's like hope you feel better, man. And then he was like, is this this is for you? And I felt <laughs> so shitty about it and felt kind of a little bit embarrassed. And I said, oh no no, it's for someone else. <laughs> come back inside. Ted, would you rather have a functioning neck or look like a fucking idiot? Uh, <laughs> look like a fucking idiot any day of the week, baby. Okay. All right. Sure. 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 Tucker, what about you? Functioning neck. I picked a neck. I picked too. a neck. <laughs> I picked a neck. Today, we're doing more of them classic would you rathers here Woo! on the Chuckle Sandwich. This time, you guys submitted them on speakpipe.com slash Chuckle Sandwich. Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich, baby. What do you guys want to do during the intro music this time? Shut up, Tucker. We're waiting for the intro music to end. We're waiting, dude. It's kind of rude to talk during it. They can hear it during the intro. Now we're just talking over the intro. This is really awkward. Yeah, this is awkward. Yeah, that is fitting. We should probably just... Yeah. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to another episode... We don't have episode. to keep doing the voice the no, whole time, No, no. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Chuckle Sandwich... We're so happy come to be on, here today. Come on. I think I turn into like a medieval aristocrat once I have this thing on. I'm like, <laughs> off with their neck. How much grain today? <laughs> How many piles of bullion do we have in the keep this today, <sighs> Squire? Cheryl? Not enough. Let me tell you, not, not enough because we still got to keep doing this. <laughs> Ugh. Oh yeah, not enough. Yeah. We're, we got to we got to build the chuckle fund, and the chuckle fund is a trust fund. That only mm -hmm. goes to us and will be sent oh, to the moon when we die. Ain't going to Tucker. Ain't going to Tucker. I'm all. Listen, I got a. I got a hot take. Okay. Are you about to say you're old? <laughs> my kids getting none of my money. Okay, yeah, they got to earn it Gage just route? as just as hard as I had to earn mine. Uh -huh. You know, money ain't easy to come by. Yeah. I'm not just gonna give my kids all my shit. That'd be fucking pointless. Yeah. You could take it a step further and make them earn their food. Yeah, make them, make them why not? Turn your whole house into like a big hamster wheel, like a, like a, you know when those you know those hamster mazes. Yeah, of course, turn your whole house into a big plastic hamster maze, and they got to do trip. They turn your whole house into a Mark Rober squirrel mm. maze. Yeah, octopus maze or octopus maze. octopus maze. Just, Son, did you finish your Schlatt and Ted moments I can't live without compilation five? Mm -hmm. Did you finish editing that? Because mm -hmm. if not. I'm not door dashing you anything tonight. <laughs> you wouldn't even make. You're not. No. Look at how you're including the fact you're not going to be making the food. It's going to be door dashed. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do Uber Eats if this isn't finished. And you know we don't have the dash pass on that. <laughs> so that's coming out of your paycheck. <laughs> and you're going to have to tip them in cash. Mm -hmm. Would you rather have four kids and no money or? No kid. No kids and four money. Oh, I'd, I'd probably go for four money. Honestly, sometimes I've thought about it. I've thought about it because I've been seeing, I'll see posts where people are like, yeah, we, we don't, we don't have any kids. And it's just like you and whoever your life partner is. And they, and the people who don't end up having kids live fantastical lives in comparison. Yeah, they're called dinks. They call themselves dinks. No, they don't. No, that you made that yeah, up. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. No, I'm not. I'm not joking. I'm not joking you. D-I-N-K. Dual income, no kids. Oh, dual income, no kids. Dinks. Yep. Dual income, no kids. Dinks. Wow. Dinks. I saw a TikTok earlier today. 
that was just these two people going like back and forth and they were just like we're dinks we buy whatever we want at costco i mean we're it dinks does, it does sound we, really fucking nice we have so much fun whenever we want it does sound really oh my parents are dinks no they're not empty no, nesters not. that's a totally different thing yeah, totally after the children have grown up and moved out, couples may become part of the dual income no kids demographic again. This time, I know, but the that's money not is... real. That's not. They're not real dinks. They're, they're not they real. just they're empty nesters. That's they're, what it they're is. They want to be dinks. Exactly. They want to be dink. They want to be dinks. Whoa! What are what's this long one? <laughs> what? Do, they got double income no kids with dogs and cats. With also dogs known as and dink with dats. <laughs> We're dink with dats. That is like, you know, there is an expense in having a dog or a cat. Yeah, but not as much as a kid. You don't have to send a fucking cat to college. I mean, you could. You could. You don't have to send a kid to college. You mean, oh, yeah, you could if you want. You could send it. Uh, and sometimes you got to send a dog to doggy daycare. Doggy daycare. That's yeah. true. Because you got to. Because dogs need to figure out how to act, whereas cats kind of kind of know. Yeah. Although my friend, they got a cat recently. They got a little kitten, and uh, that thing likes to just get litter everywhere. Like, they'll just mm. start. They'll, they like to go in the litter box and then sprint out of it. Oh. And then it just sprays litter everywhere. Yeah, my, my cat, my second cat, who was street raised, he has problems with the litter, too, but he's he, he still shits in the litter. He just walks away afterwards. Yeah, this cat was also a rescue, I think, was from the streets as well. Yeah, yeah. And Jambo just kind of, Jambo knows once he's left that that's his his turn to go in, and he'll go in and cover his shit up. <laughs> he's like, like he's it's like, his <laughs> duty, yeah. Because yeah. well, Jambo's, <laughs> he plays a, Jambo's up a, a little fucking, bit. Uh, he's kind of like, uh, what is, what's the word for it? He's like a trust fund cat in some ways. He is. He's, yeah. Oh, he, dude, he's so spoiled, but he knows because, you know, the black cat always licks him. Totally gives him, not. Gives him some grooming. Totally unrequited too. Jambo does not like licking him that much, but the black guy will just lick all day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> there was probably a better. <laughs> let's do what let's a do the would you rather what man. Yeah, Tucker, what's uh, play us the first would, the you would you rather? You guys sent these in on Speakpipe. This is the first would you rather combo uh with Speakpipe and I'm ready to go to town. I feel like I've got extra support in the neck for, yeah. for how big my brain is going to get with these takes. I'm about to start spitting. It's exciting. Okay, we're going to start with Tristan. All right, Tristan, tell us what you got. What's going on, Ted, Schlatt, and Tucker? I am a big fan of the podcast. My name is Tristan. I'm actually an OG audio listener. I've been listening since episode one, baby. Love you to death. Um, but I just, just real quick, uh, Ted and Schlatt, if you would join me in this real quick. All the Tucker haters out there, Ooh. fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Go fuck yourselves. Fuck Tucker you, haters. bitch. Right, we, ain't, we ain't dealing with that shit. All right, guys. Uh, so instead of asking one major question for the three of you, I figured I'd ask a question. Uh, individually for you know, each and every one of you. So, uh, Ted, would you rather direct another Lovejoy video uh, or just another music video in general or get to team up with another major movie company brand or, you know, film company, Universal, etc.? I would probably do another music video for Lovejoy because while it was cool teaming up with Universal for my Universal 30 Days thing, it was... Like the you were working, pretty stressed. Yeah, no, I you remember that. Yeah, I was yeah. really stressed during it, and those those types of brands, those really high tier brands like that, can be a little strict on like certain stuff. And there's like the whole process of like it, you're it be kind of can become doing that video kind of becomes your life, and yeah. with less kind of with more creative boundaries, I think to it. Whereas like doing a Lovejoy video, it's like I kind of just tell Wilbur what I think the song sounds like and explain what I want to do. And he's like, all right. And then we do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. The sponsors, any, any opportunity I get to work, not in the music video or like actual production field, but like in the sponsor, Hey, this is working with a brand type of thing. It's always the more freedom you get, the better yeah and the less stress you'll be it was a really cool video to do though i think it was like a cool thing on the resume but i think if yeah. i had to choose you know 
Yeah. I mean, dude, I did a stream for Clash of Clans last night. Yeah. And, I mean, it's a mobile game, and uh, they just kind of let you do whatever you want. I was My chat was just making cock jokes the whole night because Clash of Clans is COC. Mm-hmm. The first thing I said on the stream was, so here's my cock. <laughs> they were totally fine with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that, no, was the, that was the one joke the whole stream. <laughs> Your chat was also kept saying Cumpy. I have no idea what Cumpy means. Well, so Schlatt, Tucker and I were actually, uh, we were both we were both individually streaming Raft and Schlatt uh -huh. raided me. And then the whole chat just started saying Cumpy. And then it started becoming like a joke on our stream where there was like this bird that was dropping rocks on us. And we kept saying that we were getting Cumpied on. Um, mm. So, yeah, I don't know what Cumpy is. At the very least, it represents it on Twitch. There's a free flowing mode of ideas, uh, and the Cumpy is is everywhere. <laughs> Fair enough. What was my question? Here we go. Would you rather uh, get to play PUBG with the Chuckle Sandwich crew, or would you rather play Fortnite with the Sleep Deprived crew? Oh. Whoa. You can't ask me that in the company of the Chuckle Sandwich crew. What that's is this? Like such a that's a way ruder question to ask you <laughs> than what I got. I got like I, I got like Ted. Would you rather uh, tell me about your passions? Well, how do you discern your passions? It's like and then it's like Schlatt, Choose friend group one or friend group two. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, look. I mean, can we won't I be, be honest, offended. Ted? We won't be offended. Can I be on, you're played. not going to be offended. No. Okay, okay. Here goes. I'd rather play Fortnite with. Fuck this guy. It's okay. That's okay. I'm sorry. That's I'm okay. sorry. I'd rather do it. I'd rather do it. I've known those guys you, you for. Have, you I have mean, known, known them very long. Like eight, eight years almost. It's fair. It's fair. I've, how yeah. long have I known you for? I've known you since. Must have been four. Yeah, four years. I'd say I've got yeah. half. I've got half You're, the time. You're half of what they are to me. Mm -hmm. That's crazy that we've known each other for four years. It's almost yeah, no, it's coming on five now, I think. It's a while. We both looked a lot younger back in the day. We did. We did. Yeah. Totally. We did. Wow. Fuck, you're right. No, it is coming on five. Yeah. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. 2024. Ugh. That one sounds yeah. like a weird one. Like 2023 made sense. 2022 made sense. Maybe this is I what feel they like say it's every still year. In 2016. I don't know. Yeah, they they probably do say that every year. Yeah. 2025 is going to be crazy. I'm not ready for I that. I feel like the 2024 like it's one of those things where when we're these numbers are numbers that I saw movies when I was a kid yeah. where they would be like yeah. in the year 2024 and it's like the it's the apocalypse is happening or something. Yeah. Does there is there is there any other would is there a would you rather in there for you Tucker at all or is there there's a, he's got there is yeah and Tucker uh, would you we'll rather have to watch your parents have sex over and over again <laughs> or join in once Schlatt, I know you remember that question but Tucker wasn't on the podcast at that point in time so wink wink okay boys wait what was the other answer the again? questions and enjoy. Thank you for everything you do. Or join in once to make episodes. it stop. <laughs> uh, chocolate Sandwich Supreme, baby. Thank you, Coming Tristan. Coming after Joe Rogan. All right. Thank you, Tristan. Appreciate you calling in, Tristan. So what are you going to do, Tucker? Uh, dude, I, I'm kind of pissed that he gave, like, you guys really normal questions. Well, the, he's he's sort of like, it's sort of a baptizing sort of question for it you. Is. Yeah, I this guess is, it is. We're hazing you right now. Well, I'd, I think I would rather watch. And... And because not not because I want to watch, but because my parents are divorced, so just for like the drama of it, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, just stir, should be stir a little reality a little television bit. show. I'd be texting my stepmom, be like, "You won't believe what I'm watching right now." <laughs> <laughs> You're missing a part to it, Tucker. Though it's what you have to watch them every night. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What are you Wait, talking so about? So, are you implying that you're a join-in guy? I'm just saying for the rest of I'm my just life, saying, like that's 365 days a year. That's every night the fucking alarm goes off and you're like, they're going to fuck and I have to watch. You got to go up there with what are you going up there with popcorn? Some just binoculars fuck, yeah, or something? Just Tucker, fuck. Like, what, what? I'd be going up there with a sweet and savory. I'd be going up there with a Red Bull. I'd be like, all right, dad, let's see what you got. <laughs> what <do> you got? <laughs> He'd make bets on how many pumps he's got. <laughs> like, oh, that was uh, faster than yesterday. Hmm. Yeah, you're having an after match little meeting after. You have hold a, he holds a press conference. You're the only reporter. Yeah. 
<laughs> taking notes over there. Yeah. I'm flipping through. I'm like, all right, last <laughs> week you pulled that move. She didn't like it. <laughs> all right. All right. What's next? What do we got next on the... Uh... Next is Harper. Here we go. I'm taking this thing off. I'm getting hot in here. What's up, boys? Um, uh, me and my buddy Rami are connoisseurs of uh, hypotheticals and would you rather. So um, pardon the format of this delivery. Here's the hypothetical. You have the opportunity to meet your soulmate, but on the condition that before you meet the other person, you have to fully consume an entire tree, roots and all, or a Whoa. whole baby. With the added condition that whichever you do not eat, your soulmate has to eat the other. And you can take as as long as you want to to eat whichever you choose, but you do not get to meet one another until both of you have finished. Whoa. Yeah. How, what kind of drugs do you have to be on to come up with the question you spat at? <laughs> yeah, what sort of what sort of deep fucking K hole do you have to be down inside, <laughs> swirling around at the bottom of the fucking toilet bowl to be? Yeah, um, it's know. for me. It's a question: of which one is more fun to eat, a baby or a tree? What Tucker? What's the smallest tree, dude? For me, it's not. It's not. What's the smallest tree? I think it's what's like the most rare tree. You know. Like a Joshua tree. That's actually a grass. Joshua trees are grass. Yeah. Same with palm trees. Yeah. Well, that makes no fucking sense at all. I'm sorry. How do you call? How is that a? How is that grass? That's a. That's it's a tree. There's no wood. Yeah. Doesn't have any wood. In and then it? there's no rings. Because there's same no thing wood. with a palm tree. Yeah. My family tree is comprised entirely of humans. Fair. Still a tree. Fair point. Fair point. He's got you there, Tucker. How do you respond? Let's stop, let's stop living uh, in this fantasy land where we call trees grass. How about that? <laughs> it's like something an, an angry Republican dad at Thanksgiving <laughs> might say to you. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker, maybe you gotta understand your place in the hierarchy before you start talking about grass and trees, huh? Uh, I thought you were on my to... side. <laughs> <laughs> I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. Um... What was the okay? So if there's a there's a rare wood you can get is there's a I think it's like yew wood or something like that isn't there like a isn't there like a very rare type of wood that's used in um like uh I don't know it's 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 used in like uh like the fragrances and stuff and it grows in like the Southeast Asia or something like that and it, a certain type of mold will infect this tree. And it will secrete a resin that will sort of, um, what is it? Oud wood. Yeah, oud wood. Oud wood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe I'd eat that. I'd have the most expensive belly. I'd have the most... Why are you guys so going after like ex rare trees? I don't know. Because that's I'm, where the most satisfaction will come me. from. Schlatt's convinced give me. me. A, give me a, I'm not eating a regular fucking oak tree that I could find outside. Give me the monkey puzzle tree and I'll start chowing down on that fucking thing. Fuck How about is that? a monkey puzzle tree? Give me the monkey puzzle. Is that a real, is that a real name for a tree? Yeah. You're <laughs> yeah. just saying, putting two phrases together. Give me yeah. the monkey puzzle. Yeah, I want give, that. I'm excited for give that. Give me the shepherd's monopoly tree. Why don't we do that? Why don't we give that, give me the shepherd's monopoly Dad, tree. That's not a real tree. Come on, man. Give me the fucking uh, elephant's Yahtzee tree. Come on. Are you... Doubting that the monkey puzzle tree is a I'm, real tree. I'm well. Tucker's gonna look it up now, and I'm gonna feel like an idiot because I bet it's gonna be an awesome tree. Monkey puzzle tree. Show me this shit. Whoa! Oh, I bet that's that not doesn't. A real that shit looks delicious. That doesn't look pleasant to eat, dude. That looks that like a looks fucking, fucking delicious. That looks like you're gonna eat barbed wire, dude. I would Araucaria not. Araucana. Looks like a pine tree. I would not eat a pine. I would definitely not eat a pine. I would it probably like choose there's little, little gushers in the leaves. They just explode a bunch of aloe in your mouth or something. Maybe <laughs> you're just like making up what the experience is going to yeah, be like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I probably, if I had to choose a tree, I probably, I don't think I'm going to eat a baby, but then I'm going to, here's the thing. If I don't eat the baby on behalf of the, of the, of, of this the soulmate. soulmate of mine, I'm going to be, someone's going to be coming in the relationship. They're going to have trauma. And maybe that's going to cause some problems down the line. They're going to have some baby eating trauma. Maybe I'm going to train my mind over the course of eating a whole tree 
no wait i can't eat a tree if i'm choosing the baby but maybe i'll train my mind to get over the moral i'll go to philosophy classes like joe bartolozzi i'll i'll start training up here in order to eat a, a baby child yeah. dude and dude you have unlimited time she said right also, so you can just take baby, little tiny pieces little tiny pe oh it's a human baby definitely yeah. human baby how do we know that how do we know that was it was it, would, would we have fine print maybe if i baby cow veal I think it's a human baby. Yeah, you're probably right. I think it's it has to be a human, human baby. baby. Definitely has to be a human baby. Yeah, but you can the, eat that tiny the little. <laughs> that would make Listen, the option a lot there, easier. Can I pose you a hypothetical? Oh, absolutely. Does there exist? Does there exist a portion of human meat that you can consume every day that wouldn't give you existential dread and panic attacks? For me, the answer is yes. But well, I am just so enthralled by the the option. If I eat any portion of human meat, I'm gonna start laughing myself. My I'm gonna start shaking when I'm trying to shoot a gun. Like yeah, it's you gonna couldn't be, hold the gun right. Yeah, that's a death sentence. There's gonna be problems. Yeah. Um. It, but hmm, hmm. especially when survivors are like, "Hey, I've got some meat," and they give it to you, and then and then you're poisoned by them. It's like yeah, it's basically yeah. like they've screwed your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. I, I I'm just so enthralled by the idea of eating a do monkey I have puzzle to, tree. Do I have to eat like? Yeah. I think I think the thing that's gonna bother me the most is like I don't want to eat baby entrails. Like that seems like the grossest part. Like when like are we are we like like eating the yeah, whole, whole thing, thing. like whole like thing. licking your lips shit, kind of? shit and all mm. shit and all shit and all of course of course you're gonna have to eat this Ooh. shit at some point. I I I say this Ted. Your soulmate isn't going to get upset that you made them eat a baby because they love you that much. They'd eat a baby for you. Yeah. So there's not going to be any problem. And maybe they this. really wouldn't want to eat a tree. It would yeah. take me a long time to eat a tree. And I, I think I would probably choose the softest wood tree I could find. So I'd probably eat the tree. I'd eat the tree too. But I I picked the monkey puzzle tree. That's my... <laughs> um, it, it has to Let be that Let it be one. known. So that's, he's having that monkey puzzle tree. <laughs> Has to be the monkey okay. puzzle. Tucker, what do we got next for Speak Pipe? All right, we're going with Christian. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello, Tuckle, Schlandwich, and Milkman. No. I oh, just God. watched Enough the that. Embarrassing Stories episode, even though it came out like two weeks ago, so I might be a little late to this. But would you rather periodically be sent 60 seconds into the future at 24 random times throughout the day and not retain the context of what happened during that time? Oh, or okay. would you rather have to participate in a spot the difference event one time every day at 6 p.m. Eastern time where you are given a freeze frame of a randomly chosen moment that occurred within the time since the last freeze frame and you have one minute to spot what is different from what actually occurred. And that could range from an entirely different backdrop <sighs> to Ugh. the original moment to pass. Just uh, pass. 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 I don't care. Fuck pass. You, I don't care. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Shut the... Dude, I'm, I'm sorry. Now I'm not going to say shut the fuck up, but uh, dude, that's complicated. I, I, I'm looking for shit like you. Ra would you rather fight elephant with gun or gorilla with with sword? I don't want fucking. Dude, there's a guy on TikTok who gives Tucker, purposefully, like, <laughs> like purposefully long, drawn out would you rather's. Like they go on for minutes at a time. Oh my god, Tucker, did you choose that because you knew we would get sick of it? I I liked it. You liked it. I yeah, would probably, I liked it. I mean, I'd probably choose the fucking sixty seconds thing, man. I hope I'm not doing some fucking bullshit. I don't know. Let me do it. Like, change I, it to sixty minutes and let me skip this fucking podcast. God damn. Got him. I'd love to be able. Wait, to that's skip. against me too. Yeah. Well, now I'm sad. <laughs> Tucker, what's the next one? <laughs> All right, here's here's Ronnie. Ronnie. Hey, Ted and Chat. So my would you rather <laughs> is, would you rather wake up every morning um, in a pile of dead shrimp? They aren't edible. Um, Damn. And they do smell bad. Or okay. have one tiny shrimp crawl out of your butthole every hour, even when you're asleep. Oh, shrimp wake bed. up in the what dead the shrimp. fuck is dead wrong with you? Are you, are you stupid? Me? Are you a the fucking fuck idiot? What is wrong with you? The Jesus fuck is your problem? Christ. Get off of our speak pipe. Ronnie, Stop wasting Ronnie, our data. Ronnie, you're banned. You're banned, Ronnie. Fucking Jesus. Ow. Jesus. You see how you know how sharp a fucking 
shrimp is they you gotta you gotta you can't even eat its shell it's got a shell it's got a shell would you like to have a sh like kind of sharp little shell creature crawl out of your ass every hour once a day maybe i'm i'm i'm, I'm we're having a larger conversation here but every hour you must really not like the smell of shrimp <laughs> jesus she must be allergic to shrimp or some shit yeah you must be got a shellfish allergy or something ronnie Come on. So dumb. That's just a <laughs> stupid person Ronnie. right there. That's just what a stupid doing, person Ronnie? in our voicemail box. Really dumb thing to say. Oh, shame on you, Ron. Yeah. Yeah. God. All right. What's next, Tucker? All right. Here is Denali. Um, hi, Schlonk and Turd. Fuck um, you. Dude. My would you rather is, would you rather forget 9-11 or forget the Alamo? Um, oh, forget the Alamo. I mean, the yeah, Alamo. The Alamo. 100%. The, my friend uh, group. And why? What? Want to Who's know? debating? They're, they're giving less lore. Personally, mine is the Alamo. Because, what the fuck? I don't remember that. Hey, I wasn't even alive. To be fair, I wasn't alive for 9 11 either. But. That's what I was going to uh, say. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was. Uh, could, I can uh, tell. I definitely was like 10 for years the Alamo, before so. you. There's a difference. Yeah, you know? this is not even I mean, a uh, not, not even worth discussion yeah. either. I mean, maybe if you're from San Antonio, but even then, you probably don't even fucking care about that thing. They turn it into a gift shop, anyways. That goes to show you how much they care. Yeah, it definitely is. And if I forgot 9/11, I wouldn't have a job. So <laughs> let's just cross that one off the list. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 sort of just like a. I don't know. I feel like the Alamo is just like, hey, we took Texas from Mexico. That's part of it. And then then there's 9-11. You know, I feel like I, I'd rather remember 9-11 happened. I feel like it's yeah. really contextual to my life, whereas it's like the Alamo is just like, okay. We did that everywhere. I mean, we fucking swooped up Hawaii too. That was pretty fucked up. We did that. We only want to talk about how we took, we kind of just like showed up in Hawaii and we were like, Dibs, like that's kind of that's that's kind of fucked up. Um, either way, ain't ain't forgetting uh ain't forgetting nine eleven. No, that's still fresh on the memory. Different question. If you if you talk to me about Pearl Harbor versus nine eleven, okay, no, no, now. still nine eleven, really still nine eleven. I don't know Pearl yeah. Harbor, pretty big deal. Yeah, but if you forgot Pearl Harbor, it'd be like. Why the fuck did we just enter World War Two? You'd be like, what? We'd be like, wait, what happened? We'd back be like, then? why did we? Why were we so mad? Like, do we even know why? Um, why we were so mad at Japan? Like, we kind of just went over there and started fucking them up. Yeah. But then at the same time, if we forgot nine eleven, we'd be like, why did we go over to the Middle East and just start <laughs> fucking them up? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know. 9-11. I choose 9-11. I'm going to choose 9-11. I choose 9-11. I choose 9-11. Here right. is Margus Lee. Margus Lee. Hey, Ted and the other guy. Here's my would you rather for you. Okay. Would you rather have sex with a dog, but the entire <sighs> world doesn't know? Or you that don't one. have sex with a dog, but every single person thinks that you did? I'm fucking the dog. I'm fucking the dog, Ted. I think I'm going to fuck the dog. I'm fucking that dog. I think I'm going to fuck that pooch. Tucker, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm fucking the dog. I think I'm, I'm going to seduce the, dog. the pooch, man. Seduce totally the fucking pooch. that dog. Seduce the pooch. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically. Hypothetically? <laughs> I'm seducing that pooch. I'm lighting some candles. I'm lighting some dog tree candles. Well, that's weird when you start. Now you're humanizing it. Going that route. How do you get him in the mood? I suppose. I suppose if dogs are usually in the mood, especially those dogs that are. Have you ever been humped by a dog before? Sometimes you dogs, fuck a dude. You, so you, dog? Wait, you're gonna fuck a male dog? <laughs> 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 I didn't say that I was. I'm just talking about how dogs behave. Female dogs. You're gonna don't get do fucked that. by a dog, Ted? No, but you know how dogs are like always kind of rare and ready. No, female dogs aren't. They get in heat, and then that makes the male dogs go nuts. Oh, they they've got like a monthly cycle similar to humans. Oh, why do you know that? If you have a female dog that's not fixed, it gets its period. It does. Yeah, 
It's a female, dude. So make sure you get your dogs. It's a mammal. Fixed. It's a mammal. It's a mammal, man. Do all mammals have periods? Well, I mean, I feel like generally they probably do. Sloths have periods? I feel like a sloth is a marsupial? No. No? Zebras have periods? Read the abstract. Zebras have pussies? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is going on tonight? I gotta I feel get like, out of I feel here. Like I gotta the, go. I feel, like, I feel like you could have assumed that zebras, ha zebras have pussies. I know. I just wanted to say it. <laughs> it's probably a pretty unique sentence. Yeah, I wonder if, if... I mean, I think the real question is... Well, you don't need to directly ask Google if zebras have pussies. Do you zebras? wrote that into the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> on his main account, too. Oh, female... Gravy zebras, they have for smart instance, vaginas? have smart vaginas. They got fucking bro. They got fucking apps on those things. That's crazy. I wonder if they're striped, just they like pussies the on the themselves. Internet of Things, dude. Wow. Wow. Shit. Yeah, no, but I'd fuck a dog. I'm glad. I'm not gonna repeat it again. Say it. We'll end it on that. Let's let's hear Parker. <laughs> if I had to. And not out of, and that I'm not happy about it. Also, okay. Here we go. go ahead. Hey, flat bed and trucker. Um, my what? my name's Parker, and my would you rather question is: Would you rather be forced to sing along to every song you hear, or uh, be forced to dance to every song you hear? I'd probably sing along. I already kind of do that. Sing. I kind of yeah. sing along, but man, I would not want to get fucking, I don't want to get Fortnite disco ball bombed every time I'm, I hear a song come on. That seems like, I don't want to get boogie bombed yeah. every time I walk into a fucking yeah. CVS. Like that doesn't seem like a good that time. Would, that would get in the way of a lot of things. It I would got, be because they play songs yeah. in every store. Yeah. You know, you're driving, you have to dance while well, driving. You just That'd turn off the radio. Up. Drive in silence like Tucker, the fucking sociopath. <laughs> what if you're like trying to board a plane? Delta plays that fucking music. <laughs> Can you imagine just like in the aisle, like as they're playing that shit? Your life would be Terrible. really restrictive. Although you would still be also somewhat disruptive because you'd be singing along <laughs> the whole time. I know, but you could like. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I think that one's pretty cut and dry. But then I guess you could just kind of like. <laughs> yeah. And then someone's turning <laughs> you and you're like, you okay, wrong? dude? What's going on with you? Yeah, what's yeah, what's going good. on over there? <laughs> what are you talking about? I can't <laughs> do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you turn the person and you're like, no, you don't understand. I have to. This <laughs> is not. I don't want this. Oh, that's going to suck when you're on a crowded flight, too. Yeah. I'd still take the singing over the dancing. Oh, though. yeah. Easy day. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, what do we got here's, next? Uh, here's Double Isopod. Hello, Hello Tandem, tandem Splat, and, and all of those involved. I have okay. a question for you. Would it's you like rather never see, see your friends again, again or never see your family again, again including lovers? lovers? Good luck, have fun. Okay, why does it sound like he has the power to achieve both of those options with his fucking ethereal echo that he's got going on? <laughs> he's an isopod. Oh, okay. That doesn't help. Um. Wait, what was the question again? <laughs> Would you rather never see friends or never see family and lovers go under family? Is that what he said? Lovers go under I family? Think so I think that's what he said. I think that is what he said. Oh man, my family sometimes listens to this podcast. Mine doesn't. Well, I want to fuck somebody, so I need to. Get rid of my friends. This person clearly has no understanding of how things can work in the world. A stupid virgin. This, this is, person's never fucked in his life. Yeah, you want to hear something special, my guy? Little isopod. It's called friends with benefits. Friends <laughs> with bennies. And by definition, that falls under family, anyways. So, <laughs> kid's an idiot. Wait, no, what? it falls under friends. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Well, what if I don't love them? They're just my friends. You're still fucking them. They're your lover that night. I would say that I, I, I would say that I love Tucker like a brother, though. Is he family? I would consider Tucker to be family. Yeah. So that's but he's a, problem. a friend. Yeah, this is a problem. This is a big problem. Hmm. 
I don't like this one. Wait, what was that? Was that de- outside marriage? Oh, a partner in a sexual or romantic relationship outside marriage. Okay, so this person clearly doesn't understand how things work in the world. This person needs to get some pussy. This is like get this is person where, where it's like, would you rather divide two by zero or multiply one by zero? And it's like, what? What are you talking what about? What does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. Exactly. Me neither. I didn't wasn't good at math. I know. Um hmm. Get rid of the friends. Get rid of the friends. I have friends anyways. Yeah, I guess I get rid of the I guess get rid of the friends because I'm take oh, you know, I can take some I can just start saying I love you to like all the people that I yeah. that I'd be like I'd be like, You're my family. We have a bl- and then I'll start making blood t- blood ties, blood packs. Mm-hmm. And then they're part of my family. I'll make a cult of people. And that's and I think that that's my answer. <laughs> blood ties, <laughs> blood ties, checkmate. Isopod, blood ties. Okay, here comes Tucker's bitch. Oh, oh. Hey, Schlatt. Hey, Ted. Hey. Hey, Tucker. <laughs> Got a pretty tough. Would you rather here? So, would you rather be chosen through the Make a Wish Foundation by a child dying of leukemia? to be the celebrity that they want to meet before they die and have to go into that hospital room and just slap the piss out of that kid. Also, the kid's a ginger. Or have to put a picture of your genitalia for your profile picture for every social media platform you own for the next 24 hours. Slap that fucking kid. I'm slapping the fuck out of him. Make a wish, kid. You got a broken neck I'm slapping the fuck out of him. I'm smacking that make a wish, kid. I'm gonna say, hey! I'm gonna say, hey! You want to be in a video? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna say, hey! You want to be in a video? That's the new Mr. Beast video. Dude, mm-hmm. Chandler slaps all the Make a Wish kids. <laughs> Dude, fuck yeah. How many? Uh, every Make a Wish kid you slap, you get a thousand dollars in twenty four hours challenge. I'm slapping the fuck. Yeah, out I'm slapping kid. the kid. Slapping the. Let's fuck slap out. him. Bye bye. Here comes Woog. Woog. What's going on, Schleezus and Teddy Bear and? Jarhead, hmm. <laughs> got a pretty tough would you rather here. Okay. So, would you rather make only Roblox content for the rest of your online career? Or have to personally sever one of your own phalanges off your body with a kitchen knife? Okay, so this person clearly doesn't understand how lucrative Roblox creators are are and how oh. much fucking money they make off of roblox and also have you considered this ted have you played roblox i played a little bit it's fucking fun it's good it's fucking fun every it's, time i play I roblox like, i'm I having like a great Nazi time zombies on roblox and shit it's yeah like, there's everything it's there's it, everything it, on it's, there it's like really not that bad no it's not i could totally do it i could totally do it there's a youtube simulator on roblox that i get addicted to every time i launch it really yeah, I have like 4 billion subscribers on it. It's called YouTube Simulator Z. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah no, I'd, I'd become a Roblox creator. They make so much fucking money, dude. They, they, they make a killing. I'd, I'd make a game in Roblox. I'd start monetizing that. I'd start doing this, that, you know? It'd be yeah. great. Would you? <laughs> would, this is, would you rather be super filthy fucking rich or chop off one of your fingers? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I have to make Roblox videos. Yeah. The only <laughs> thing I'm doing when I chop off one of my fingers, making a blood pack. That's what I'm doing. You know how rich Flamingo is? You don't even want to know your head starts spinning. Yeah. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> you know how rich Creek Craft is? Carl Jacobs? Is, is Carl a, would, yeah, would a Carl Roblox be considered YouTuber. a Roblox? Yeah, he's got a, he's got a Roblox channel. What? I didn't know this. What yeah, are you talking daily, about? Uh, you don't know. Ted, Carl has a daily Roblox channel. What? Yeah. It's called Pixel Playground. What's it called? Pixel Playground. This is Carl? Yeah. Daily? Yeah. Whoa. I didn't know that, Carl. Oh, good job, Carl. I bet he makes a fuck ton of money off that. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I'd be a Roblox YouTuber. 100%. Wow, it's easy. We just talk to Carl. We'd be like, Carl, listen, I don't want to lose a finger. Gotta, gotta do it. 
got to do I it. Ju- I just hop in on Carl's If you chair. did have to choose a finger to cut off, though, which one would you cut? Ring finger. Most useless finger ever. Right ring finger so that if my left one... But what if you want to get married? Left hand. Mm. Left ring finger is the hand it goes on. And also, I'm a left... It is sort of so married to the rest of the fingers out there, isn't it? It is. It is married. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right I could ring. do some... I could Terrible. Do some, I could do some fucking... I could still do shit with this. Of course you can. Of course you can. Huh. And your left, your left one's uh, really keyboard necessary for gaming. Oh, shit. That's true. That's hey. true. Yeah, totally well, right one. Well, totally right no, one. you could get you could get your pinky involved. Not as good. You probably definitely get used to it, but imagine, like, yeah, imagine it's not there. It's like the pinky's going to be easy, easy adjustment because the pinky's still strong. I feel like it'd still probably hurt a little bit. It'd be definitely you'd be you'd be stretching it out a little. Yeah, you know, I put a rubber band around my hand. I'm making rubber band around my hands and make it go like that. <laughs> All right, what's the next? Uh, what's the next? Uh, would you rather, Tucker? Here we go. Coming from May. Hey, Teddy. Hey, Schluck. Hey, Tupper. Um, mm, would you terrible. guys rather be the terrible. main characters in the Amazing World of Gumball or the main characters in Adventure Time? Probably Amazing World of Gumball because a lot of tragic shit happens to the fucking Adventure Time characters. A lot of tragic stuff. Really? What happens? Oh, tragic things. You could be Be you could be Jake the dog. You could be Bemo. You could. I mean, dude, if I was Jake the dog, maybe the show wouldn't be shit. Whoa. Maybe I could inject some personality into it and some humor. Whoa. You know, maybe Tucker, the show. Have would you seen both of better. these shows? Is that why you've chosen this? I well, I haven't seen too much Gumball, but I'm a pretty big Adventure Time fan. I think Cantu's got Gumball covered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't do his gumball. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess maybe World of Gumball because I feel like it's it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. But then there's like, uh, but then you know, I could eat the citizens of that candy land if I was like, you could, you could do whatever you wanted. I could, I could eat the citizens of the candy land though. The whole sh- the whole world wouldn't exist without you. They're gonna let you do whatever you want. Yeah. Fuck. Bubblegum princess. Bumpy space princess. Gumpy. Marceline. (laughs) Yeah. Jeez. Uh Calm down, man. What? Calm down. Talking about Marceline. What are you doing, dude? What do you mean? Marceline. Marceline. What are you talking about? Did that set you off? The goth vampy mommy. (laughs) Head swelling up. (laughs) Isn't that the isn't that the vampire Marceline? Yeah. 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 Yeah, dude, she's hot. You're like you're like taking a bath. I think it's because I've I've never said anything like that on the podcast before. <laughs> never expressed anything like that before. Um, and she's like a thousand years old too, so it's not weird, dude. She's wise. Yeah, she's yeah. she's got she's she's got wise riz. Next, next. okay. next. Okay. Let's go fair, next. Fair, 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 very fair. Here comes Jaden. Hey there, Tucker. And the other two guys I don't remember is Jaden from Connecticut. And I yeah, got a right. great would you rather question. Would you rather have five friends for the rest of your life? They'll be hella loyal and hella funny and junk. You know, all the things you need in a friend. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. But you're socially inept. Like you are really bad in social anything. And you can't make any more friends because of that. Or, or? would you rather be a social bird but can never hold a friendship shit this is a good one this is a good one i don't think uh i don't think we're the same people i think there's the answer to this is actually very telling of the type of people we are because i listened to the first option and i was like that's kind of what i have anyways I mean, dude, Jane, you're gonna get older and older, and your friends. No, are but just I gonna, like I like just gonna drift to apart. And, is the thing, but I, it's yeah, not but about. I don't, I don't. So, well, I haven't made my choice yet, Schlatt. So yeah. maybe don't make a judgment well, on no, you no, before. No, 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 no. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. Are you are you gonna pick the first one? Yeah, I'll probably pick the first one. Okay. I mean, it's like I'd rather. Um, what, I, 
I would enough. much rather yeah. have a longtime friend and be uh and and ask and ask like things like and be like my dad's a CEO of Nintendo, by the way. And then, you know, be a fucking... Because you'd have to be a piece of shit if you're, like, you're a you social butterfly. You would be a piece of shit. Yeah, it's, it just yeah. sounds like it's like, would you rather be, like, like, like a person that's got, like, really good friends but maybe, like, accidentally farted once in a social setting and, like, could not play it off? Or, like, would you rather be, like, a guy that's, like, a f- fucking all the city and, and, and everyone hates him and he's a, and he's yeah. a piece of shit? You got to be a nomad your whole life. Yeah. Never nomad. have a home. Yeah. Yeah. The Wanderer from the Fallout song. And you know what, Jaden from Connecticut? You're probably going to reach 24 in 10 years, and you're probably not even going to have five friends. It's probably, you're probably going to have way less as everyone goes to college and gets lives of their own and slowly drifts apart. Fewer and fewer Discord calls Dude, every week. You're fucking bumming me out right now, man. Yeah, but I mean, it's just the hard reality, is it not? Is it not? I don't think everyone, so. I, I don't think everyone so. goes off and has their own lives and forgets about yeah, you. Yeah, I think that no, I don't think anyone forgets about you. I'm the, at least I'm the kind of person that like I've got friends that I won't see for like six months, or maybe I won't talk to for like two months, and then I'll see them in person after you know six months to a year or something like that, and it'll be like nothing. No time has passed at all. Although I will sometimes get a little bit bummed out when I think about how I've got these friends that I used to see all the time and I know that they're having all of these experiences on their own and I don't get to be a part of those as much. Mm. That's one thought that bums me out sometimes where it's like they're having so much of their life experience and I'm not there for that. That bums me out. I'm taking the five friends. But I, yeah, I would take the five friends too. Yeah. All right. Lo- is it Logan next? Looks like it's Logan. Here we go. Sup, uh, Schlatt and uh, Theodore Kennedy Nevison. I have a would you rather for you here. So, would you rather have a man in your house 24-7, 365? He never leaves. He never hurts you. He never touches you. He doesn't do anything to your house except sometimes at night or during the day. You'll see him stand there stalking the corner. Okay? He's not a normal man. He's like an old shrivel up man with long hair. Mm. Think like Gollum, right? He's always like shrunk up in the corner. And he's this is very funny. he's just creepy, right? He's just staring you down all the sure. time. He'll never okay. hurt you, but he'll just always be staring at you, right? And you'll never see him in the full light. It'll always be a little bit dark. So you'll never get to fully <laughs> see his face. It's like darkness that falls right. around. Everything you do in your entire life have narration by Jerry Seinfeld. Oh. And... He, he, he narrates everything, right? You take a step, narrate it. You think about something, narrate it. He will argue with your own thoughts, right? And whenever you're not doing anything and you're not thinking about much, he does a stand-up show. But this is a normal stand-up show. It's <laughs> one joke. It's the same joke every single time. He never thinks of a new joke. He never does a new joke. It's always the exact same joke every single Damn. time you stop oh. doing something. And oh. then as soon as you start doing something, <clears throat> he starts narrating again. Tell me it's yeah, no, I, I, old man, dude. I don't want to old man. I don't want to be tortured by Jerry Seinfeld. And it's just around my home. Yeah, old man. And then you buy a house, and then you call up a buddy. You're like, hey, man, can I rent with you? Loophole, bitch. Oh. Or you put your house, or you buy a house with an LLC. Oh, that's not my house. That's just the LLC I manage. Yeah, you're gonna have to. He's gonna have to do like research and shit. Unless he's like a creature, a being. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he follows you in every house. Then it's a little different. But even so, I'd still. If anything, I'd, I'd still start just... to. I'd start to tell this man all of my problems and stuff. I, he'd start to be kind of like a little bouncing mm-hmm. board, someone to talk to to ease the <laughs> lonelier portions of my life. I'd just be yeah, like, you're, I'd be you're like, editing. I give him a name. You know, I yeah. just, you know, I, I I give him a birthday, and then when his birthday comes around, I put a little birthday hat on his head. Yeah. He's sitting there, like, <laughs> over there, you know. I'd be like, "Good for you!" I'd start playing games with him, throw a ball at his head, bounces off. He doesn't do anything. Yeah, it'd be you great. It'd be, like, it'd be uh, you know, it'd be like Shy. It'd be like having that. It'd be like having a zombie to play with. Yeah, and that's a yeah. good. That's a deep rep, deep cut that's, reference. Chuckle right that's there. True. You, you don't even you need would to wear have a, a little zombie to play with. You don't even oh. need to wear a glove. Nope. Start smacking his face around, playing with his jowls. Yeah, just fucking with him a little bit. Just fucking with him. 
I would totally fuck with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I You'd love You'd have that. to. You can make content around that. Yeah. You Whatever I do, like, this guy just stays there. Hey, guys, what's going on? I'm fucking with my old man today. Join my 24-hour <laughs> live stream. I'm fucking, I'm fucking with the person right now. <laughs> $20 and I'll shoot him with a paintball gun, guys. Yeah. Yeah, no, he, 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 you get to the end of the week, this dude's covered in fucking dirt and fucking paint and shit. And he's probably, I wonder if he like resets at the beginning of the day. Like he, like, like you just do a bunch of shit to him. He just shows up again. Like, is he, I'm, I'm trying to decide whether or not he'd be like sort of a creature, like a, like a paranormal creature or if he's just literally a guy. It cool. It'd be cool if he reset at the end. <laughs> that would or he be just cool. like had regeneration. So you could just watch him. Yeah, it would be a good way to figure bit. out how easily you could beat up an old man too. Like it'd be yes. kind of like a real life punching bag. It'd be like one of those things on the on, on the TLC show or whatever, or on the <laughs> History Show where they sh like where they're testing out weapons yeah. on the fucking on the fucking pun like realistic silicon <laughs> punching bag thing. How many how many Newton meters of force can the person take today? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's fun. You'd make content out of it. Yeah, it's a very YouTuber response, but hell yeah. Tucker, what do you think? You gonna fuck with this person? Well, I took it more as like he's not a real person. Oh, you're schizophrenic? Yeah, I took it more like that. Like oh. if you like look, he's there, and you look away, and then you're like, wait, and you look back, he's gone. He's in a different corner, you know? Oh. And I, I felt like if you tried to like go up to him, it'd almost be like trying to push two magnets together. Like you just wouldn't be able to get near him. Mm, I got I, a, I got more of like oh, a Oh, and, and so dude, everyone on TikTok just thinks you're fucking crazy. You're just, yeah. There's just a video of a of an empty room <laughs> and you're like, I'm fucking with him today. <laughs> yeah, I took it yeah. definitely more of the, the ghost route. Sure, yeah, yeah. That's fair, that's fair. I still think I'd pick that though. Yeah, yeah. I think you'd probably yeah. get numb to it. Definitely. Definitely. And if, if you, you know, you could get used to it and you just get like fucked up, you'd be drinking. Like, get over here. Sure. Where is yeah. that guy? <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there's a schizophrenic guy on TikTok who has actually talked about that kind of thing before where he'll be talking to someone in his house and then all of a sudden he's like, wait, are you, are you real? And so he'll take his phone out and like open up his camera and point it at, at that area and they never show up on the phone somehow. So like he'll know, he'll know if it's a real person based on that. And so he's like, sometimes, yeah, sometimes I just like wind up taking photos of, of real people. <laughs> and that's the, <laughs> that's, that's kind of the downside of it. That would be really scary. You ever yeah. hear, do you ever, have you ever had like, I've, I've never had it, but I hear, I've heard stories like sleep paralysis demons. I haven't. No, no, no. That, not. that would be really scary. It sounds fucking terrifying. Yeah. Sleep paralysis. Yeah. Have you ever had any sleep paralysis uh, demons? No. Um, neither have we. <laughs> um, I think we have time for two more. How's that? Sure. It's got to eat those fucking wings. No, dude, I got Chipotle. Oh, good for you. Thank you. Yeah, that's healthy. a healthy choice. <laughs> uh, here is Anna. Um, hello, Chucklers. Uh, my question to you is, would you rather be stuck in a time loop at Disney World? And for the sake of the argument, it's like July 4th at Disney World, so it's like hell. It's packed. <laughs> uh. It's sweaty. It's Orlando. It's disgusting. Or oh. be stuck in a time loop as like a toddler or baby you. So like you're just like 20 years younger. So that means I'm you don't like have resources to do anything. You can't drive. You can't. <laughs> okay. Like, you don't have a credit card. Way to give us fuck like a you. fucking layup right away. And you know, yeah, fuck you too, dude. Like Disney any day of the week. I'm a time yeah. loop. I don't gain any weight. I remember it all. I remember the flavors. I go and I try. I'm eating churros every day. I'm having a good time. <laughs> I'm getting dole whips. I'm fucking doing it all. And I and you know what I'm doing? I'm at Disney. I'm upgrading to the VIP thing. So I'm skipping all the lines. Sure. And you could test out little theories. Yeah. Time resets every day. Okay. How many people can I murder today? Yeah, or or uh, how many kids can I push over? How many days can I ruin? How many like can I can I find my way into the fucking like mountain, like the like the Everest mountain thing, and and start and start putting 
puppet shadows on the walls yeah. and freaking out all the all the Disney adults who are like, this is a new thing. While the while Space Mountain's gone, how many kids can I throw off the ride? Like how we turn to violence immediately <laughs> before people start to notice. How many little babies can I throw into the, the Granted, pit? You know, this would be a, you know maybe a couple years down the line. You know, mm-hmm. I'd like to get away. I'd like to have a way out of the time loop, though. But I mean, I I would stay at Disney. I mean, it's you know that would be yeah. like uh, sort of a a weird version of like heaven in the good place. You know. Yeah. Like you get That's bored. Fair. You'd get bored eventually and you just want to die. But like. Sure. You'd These same thing if you were a, a baby with day. barely yeah. any function to your brain. Like that would yeah, suck. You'd be having a fucking allergic reaction to a cosmic brownie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that happened to you when you were a kid? <laughs> yeah. And you did that? You spit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my throat closed up. It wouldn't go down. I sat in front of the. Never mind. That's really scary, dude. Yeah, it was fucking terrifying, bro. Holy crap. Well, no more cosmic brownies for you. Uh, I don't eat the next speak. Rule of thumb. (laughs) I I never eat them. You're not missing much either way. So yeah, yeah. here's Oscar Baldwin. Hello, Slap Todd and uh, Tupper. Would you rather Mm. make ducks, the animal, a duck, a being of death or sharks? three times the size. And let's specify the being of death. The being of oh, death another character. that it has claws. That thing that thing doesn't have no fucking webbed feet no more. Fuck this that is, shit. This is Daniel and Oscar from from Adelaide, Australia. I'm talking about the motherfucking motherfucking fang feet fuckers. Like we we're talking the real shit. The cold fucking <laughs> So so in in How drunk okay. do you think they are? Would oh, you dude, rather they're fucking, death, sh- death they're fried. ducks or, or three times as large sharks? Yeah. That's what we're asking. Like, yeah. just in Even, general? Do we just want yeah. them in general? <laughs> like, they just they show up in the ecosystem or something? Like, I don't I don't, I don't what are understand. They talking? I like it how, like, that guy came out of nowhere and he was like, and hey, let's remember this. <laughs> like, it's like, all of a sudden, he just, like, shows up out of nowhere. Yeah. He tag teamed in. Yeah, I mean, either way, it wouldn't affect my daily life. Yeah, it it's really like wouldn't. Just, I'm gonna, what I'm going to see it on 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 the news feed on Reddit or something. It's like there's, uh, there's some crazy sharks out there now. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, don't tell those guys about like eagles. Yeah, fuck. You're that's right. basically a duck. Yeah, with they're claws. talking about fucking fang claws. It's like it's like yeah. you know what a talon is, man. You understand what a talon is? <laughs> those things can fly a lot better than a duck. I'll tell you what. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jeez, I mean, I guess the shark one though, because big sharks just seem like a cool reality that I'd like to That's make. That's so cool. We'd have so many more movies. We would. Oh yeah. Oh, but then the duck thing is probably like a, you know, that's probably like a Stephen King book. Yeah. You know, and well, if, probably you, get if you a, made the ducks crazy, then that film. would make that would make duck hunting a very very. They'd be oh. like going to war. Wow. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Be like a Either service one. to your country. Be like, we gotta get these fucking ducks out of here, man. It'd be it'd be more intense than fucking hog hunting. <laughs> They'd be coming out there with Hueys and fucking M forties. Yeah, you know MK40s. what? Fucking fucking both. Can I say that? Give me both. Y- yeah, honestly, I don't Give think that, both. It's funny too because they're probably like they're probably thinking of themselves as they sent this. They're probably like, they're not gonna know which one to pick. They're gonna <laughs> have a hard time. We want them both. Give them, Give both them to them. us. Come on. That was a pretty good setup of uh, Would You Rathers, I would say. Thanks for sending those in, guys. Yeah. Um, easy. Easy. Honestly, some easy ones in there. Definitely. All right. Thank you guys so much for sending in your speak pipes. If you didn't get it, if you didn't get chosen this time, maybe try a little bit harder. Maybe maybe have some better ideas, motherfucker. Or have some worse ideas. You know why? Because we're asking for your hot takes again, bitch. So send in your hottest take to speakpipe.com slash chuckle sandwich. And for our next speak pipe based episode, we'll be checking out you guys' hot takes and we will be giving our opinions on those. But with that being said, thanks for joining us on another episode of chuckle sandwich. I'm looking for some hot takes about women this time. (laughs) Oh yeah. Send in some crazy thoughts you guys have about yeah women yeah yeah yes yeah. yeah, and send in, uh and send in some uh hot takes about like science 
and vaccines yeah, and too. Weather, weather. Yeah, weather. Weather systems. Did you mm-hmm. know, Ted? Totally off topic, and we should be ending the podcast, but there's a YouTuber who covers weather who is like getting millions and millions of views a day on daily uploads and what? he clickbaits he clickbaits weather. Oh shit. Fucking crazy, dude. Are you kidding me? Look at this with a huge arrow. Ring of fire. You imagine clickbaiting weather? Never would have thought any content like that would have been viral. Dude, he just decided insane. he's going to be a weatherman. He should he should yeah. not even do any green screen weatherman shit either. That's oh. like rare weather. Dude, Death Ridge, El Nino, huge block. El Nino's going to be crazy. If you if you just bro, if like you the one that says just huge looked, problem. <laughs> if you just looked at this guy's channel at the thumbnails, you would think the earth is fucking ending. You would think Dude, the United States bomb. is disintegrating every day. Uh, here we go. Brace Str- yourself. Brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what? And then they're uh, not good. <laughs> not good. Not That's good. really funny. Damn. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thanks for joining yeah, us here. Thanks for watching. Time to prepare, chucklers. Watch out. All eyes Watch on this out. big update because this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. And we'll catch you later in the uh, next episode of uh, Channel Sandwich. See you next week, guys. Bye, everybody.